Mackenzie Hamilton here with Daryl Johnson for the Galvanize Who Not Do series. Daryl, it's such a pleasure to be speaking with you today. Oh, a great opportunity to join you, Mackenzie. Happy to be here. As the title of the series suggests, we're going to dive into who you are. But I think in order to get there, we first have to take a look at all that you have done. Daryl Moose Johnston, star fullback for the Cowboys, NFL analyst, general manager in two football leagues, business owner, father, you have held so many titles over the course of your lifetime. Having had those experiences of working in the front office and now analyzing football and football players, if you could go back to when you were playing and tell yourself one thing, what would that be? Oh, wow, that's a great question. Um, you don't want to ever live life with regret. That's, um, you know, I, I was very comfortable in what I did. Um, but really, I mean, to, to be the best, you would want to be able to reflect back. Um, I think probably when I was younger, um, I would have played more sports. I, I think that that's one of the things that, that I miss today. Uh, you know, I, I played everything, but I didn't stick with it, anything except football. And I was from a small high school. Um, you know, for us to be competitive in sports throughout the calendar year, we needed kind of an all hands on deck approach. And the fact that I got really kind of football only in my junior and senior year, it has always been one thing I regretted. And I think that that kind of impacts you later in life because we see so many kids today that they get into athletics and they specialize in one sport. So everything becomes repetitive. So the movements are all really the same. Is that a piece of advice that you've given your children as they've grown up? I do. And, and I had uh, my son became kind of a predominant lacrosse player. Um, he started out with football. I made him wrestle one year. I, I think it's important for, for young boys to wrestle at least one season. Uh, I, I love the fact that you get to do an individual sport. That way, when you lose and the referee raises the hand of the other guy, there's nobody else out there for you to blame. It's just you. You lost that match. So I always wanted him to wrestle. But for him to get to the level that he wanted to get to playing lacrosse, he had to kind of go year round. And that's not just playing one sport. That's actually playing one sport in the spring during a season, through the summer with a club team, and then in the fall with that club team. So uh, our daughter did a better job. She, she really embraced all three, three seasons in high school. Um, a small all-girls school, uh, a graduating class of about 120. So same thing. If you were an athletic girl, it was kind of that all hands on deck mentality. So she was a field hockey player in the fall. Um, she did uh, basketball. She swam this year uh, through the winter. Uh, and then obviously lacrosse was her spring sport. But she, she played three sports every year her entire high school career. Um, so yeah, for her, that was something that was important to her. And, and probably why I feel like I should have done that because even though I was from a, a co-ed school that was public, we were still small and, and all the athletes probably needed to, to be in all three sports every season. You mentioned your daughter. She's now a student athlete at Syracuse following in your footsteps. I know you just dropped her off there just recently last week. If you could impart one lesson and piece of knowledge that she's guaranteed to remember and any piece of knowledge or advice that any young woman starting off in the sports industry is guaranteed to remember, what would it be? something that I've actually learned later in life. And I actually learned it from, from Blake Bortles. Um, I was a prove people wrong guy my whole career growing up and, and really through the, you know, my professional career, you know, I, I didn't get this information from Blake until I was a broadcaster. And I, it was the season that the Jacksonville Jaguars went to the championship game. And it was one of those magical seasons. And I asked them late in the season when we did one of their games that, you know, it must feel great right now to be able to prove everybody wrong. You know, all these people that doubted you, all these people that have been critical about you. I mean, even your peers in the NFL seems like they disrespect you at times. And, and here you are, you know, having a great season, you know, doing a, a great job with the Jaguars. And he goes, I asked him, I said, it must be great to be able to prove all those people wrong. And he goes, you know, I used to, I used to be like that, but it still comes from a negative point of view. Right. And I'm like, yeah, I guess kind of. He goes, I've kind of flipped. He goes, now, instead of proving people wrong that doubted me, I prove people right that believed in me. So I want, I want my daughter to know that because I think she's got a little of that 
prove you wrong mentality. And I think that she feels there's a lot of people that don't think she belongs at Syracuse, that she's there because I was there and Gary Gate, who's the coach, was a friend of mine. He was there at the same time I was. So there's all these conspiracies about how she got there. And I've just told her, listen, you, you can't control any of that. That has, that has nothing to do with your experience. Um, you know, just be ready, um, you know, be prepared and, and just work hard, but don't work hard to prove those people wrong that are doubting whether you belong there or not. Do it because you want to prove Molly Ford, your high school coach, right? You know, do it because you want to pr prove Maggie right. Everybody that's been a part of your career, who's helped you get to where you are today, prove them right. So I, I want her to have that message. So when she goes to Syracuse, not only is she confident, but you know, her, her motivation is coming from a positive position as opposed to a negative position. That's awesome to hear. Well, that does it for our interview today. Thank you so much for taking time to speak with me. It's so great to learn not only about you, but how much you value family and how that is such a big part of you. Signing off for Galvanize, this is Ben Mackenzie Hamilton with Dale Johnston.